In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the new desktop effects control module for Quint 5. The control module has been rewritten with Qt Quick Controls, which is a fairly new technology, and we still have some rendering issues together with Oxygen. Please don't mind those issues. One of the new features we introduced in this control module are the radio buttons shown here, which are for mutual exclusive effects. So these are our magnifying effects, and Quinn can only support one of them at runtime, so they should be mutual exclusive. So if I click now here on magnifier, the zoom effect gets disabled. If I don't want any of the magnifying effects, I can just click it again, and it gets disabled because the radio button behaves like a checkbox in this case. Another new, very awesome feature, in my opinion, is the video support. So here we have a video button, and if I click it, um, a video loads. And this video demonstrates how the effect behaves. So this should give our users a hint on what to expect when um, activating an effect. Once the video stopped, you get here a um, play again button. The list is now restricted to the effects which are actually supported by the compositing backend currently used. So I'm at the moment running the OpenGL backend, so all effects are supported. But if I would switch to our X render, the looking glass effect would not be shown anymore because it's not supported. Also, we hide a few of the more internal effects. Internal effects are effects which replace functionality inside current core, and also the effects which are used to integrate with our desktop shell. If you want to also configure them, we have here a configure button for the search bar, which um, opens a menu, and you can then um, uh, change it. So that's it. I hope you like it and uh, enjoy our new releases.